beautiful. And you said, jazz is America's classical music. This is our music as Americans. This music would not have been possible anywhere else in the world. And I bring that up, this idea of identity and, and what it is to be American or, you know, making American work and creativity. Because obviously the news and, 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 you know, conversations have been dominated by politics and civil unrest and protests and demonstrations in recent months. And seeing how jazz had a critical role in the civil rights movement, from Nina Simone to Duke Ellington to many more artists, I was wondering if you could kind of speak to that and, and what we can learn from jazz as being a soundtrack for these conversations taking place. Yes, um, thank you for bringing that up. Uh, jazz, as you said, it's it's always been a reflection of our society, I think. Um, and it has really, it really helps to put um, things into perspective. It puts us under a microscope in a sense because the musicians who come together on stage um, in real time, they're bringing with them their experiences uh, who they are as people and their ability or inability to work together, to listen to each other or not, <laughs> you know, but it is really the ultimate form of democracy. And um, it requires, you know, working together, uh, coming to some understanding um, because, you know, the music does provide a framework, but there's a whole lot of freedom uh, in jazz. And so an individual could kind of run off and do it's his or her own thing um, musically, and it may not agree with what else is happening, you know, in the music or with the other musicians. And so uh, it's important, and I think jazz musicians particularly are always in tune or, or have to be in tune uh, and willing to compromise and willing to give, um, you know, give of themselves and um, be open to, to, to forming a, a truce and an understanding with each other through the music. Um, and I think that is certainly um, the case uh, as it relates to, you know, what, what took place uh, during uh, the civil rights movement and all the social unrest that took place at that time and what we're seeing now. I'm sure a lot of innovative, you know, great music is gonna come out of the time that we're living in right now. Um, but it's always great to, to listen back, you know, at where we have been and it, you could hear it. It's all in the music. It's there. You know, it's kind of like an archive, a, a document of, of our history. It's, it, it comes through, you know, in some of those old, you know, recordings from the 60s and the late 50s. 